so today I just want to film a thoughts on slash review video on Jill Stewart. So I purchased some of their makeup when I went to Japan and of course I filmed a Japan haul video which I will link somewhere in this video. Um, and yeah, so I purchased a eyeshadow palette, a blush compact, and a lipstick and I thought I'd give you my thoughts on it and maybe that will cause you to buy it or not. Who knows, right? Anyways, I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette, which is the Jill Stewart Velvet Crystal Eyes. Um, look at this really... I kept the box before I throw it out because I wanted to show you guys. It's I know it's a really plain, um, I guess, pinkish beige color box. And of course, look at it. There is nice embroideries on it. Love the design. Um, this eyeshadow palette is in 01 Nudie Venus. I love the packaging. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's like, I feel like a princess when I use it. Um, it's fairly compact uh, with four colors. And here is how it looks like. The side that I'm covering is basically just the mirror. They include a double-sided cotton swab and of course four colors. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that in each of the eyeshadow, um, there is a J in it, which is like their monogram in each of them. But of course, the longer you use it, it does fade away. That's the unfortunate part. Um, so I kind of, I kind of wish, I mean, if it's a collection and, you know, I don't plan on using it, then great. But I kind of wish they didn't put that on so it didn't make me feel like, you know, I'm ruining their design while I use a product. Anyways. Um, I want to show you guys uh, some swatches. So this is the dark brown color. It is very, very pigmented, um, if I can get this camera to focus. And um, this is the coppery one. It feels super, super velvety. Um, and here is the lighter pinkish beige one. If I can focus on my fingers and last but not least which I didn't really try out this is the lightest I guess whitish pink color on my pinky it feels very velvety um I usually use when I wear I guess eye makeup I do try to use primer so that it stays on all day so of course with primer it does last longer without um I would say not so much because I tested it on both and of course today I didn't put any. Um, I did for this eye makeup look, I did use three of the colors, um, just not the white. So I would say these three colors right here. So this was kind of um, on the bottom of my eyes, like right about here. This is the blending color that I use on top. And this one is I used right underneath my eyebrows just to highlight it a little. Um, I know I could have used this as my tear duct, but I did use something else. I don't know if you guys can see with um, the lighting in my room, but anyway, so there's that. I do love this um, palette. It is on the pricier side, so if you guys want to try it out, um, keep in mind it is very expensive. Um, but it is very velvety. This is my first velvet kind of, uh, I guess, eyeshadow palette, so I'm pretty happy with it, I would say. So next is the Jill Stewart Lair Blush Compact. Um, once again, it's in this plain um, beige pinkish box with embroideries all around. Um, this one is in 03 Relax Smile. Uh, why I picked this one up was because, uh, you will see. It comes with a, a detachable, sorry, it can be, it, you can take this off, brush with it. I thought that was very, very cool. Um, and look at that. So you push it up and it looks like this. It's very, very cute. Um, it's got some nice embroideries around as well. Um, unfortunately, I have to say it's not the brush, best brush. Um, it's soft, but these bristles do come off. Like I think I had a few come off just today when I was applying. So aside from that, I will show you how the um, I guess compact look like so it looks like that very very pretty I love compacts that have like different colors so I usually swab right in the middle so I get a mixture of all colors um, they are very very pigmented once again here 
This is the darkest pink on here. It looks very bright. You can wear this on your own, I would say. Um, here is the Chloral one. Um, you might need, I guess, a more, uh, like a smaller brush to use, or maybe just with your fingers if you like. And that's the lighter pink, and this very, very light pink on the side. And the lightest pink on the side, um, I usually use as a highlighter, I'm talking about this one. And I realized that when I swab too much and, you know, it gets really pink on my cheeks, just swab a little bit more of this color and you can balance it right off. It's really easy and I love this one. Um, this one is also on a pricier side. I believe it's like, I want to say 40 something as well. I'm not exactly sure, but I remember all three of these items added up to $135 Canadian. So to me, that is a little bit more expensive than what I'm used to. So last but not least is the Jill Stewart Lip Blossom. Once again, it's in this light pink package with embroideries on the side as well. This one is in 04 Petite Cherry. Uh, this one is really cute as well. So look how pretty. It looks like a totem pole that you will find in Europe somewhere. And it has this nice flower on top, which actually has a mirror on the other side. I can show you guys. So this is a mirror on this side. I don't really use it. I mean, it's really small. Um, I prefer using a bigger mirror or just not at all and just, you know, I mean, my lips are my lips, right? It's a very nice coral kind of color. It's You can use it as an everyday look. I have it on me today and I will swatch it for you guys as well. Um, I have to say, it's not a color that lasts long. After maybe a cup of coffee at the end of it, you might want to reapply. Um, or after when you finish a meal, it doesn't stay on for long, but it's very moisturizing, which I love. Because when I was in Japan, um, I had really dry lips, and the lady that was trying this on for me actually had to put moisturizer on me. Um, oh, and all these colors that I picked apparently at the time was the most popular one, according to the sales lady. I hope she wasn't um, trying to get me to buy it and that's why she said it, but these are very nice colors. And they're colors that I can wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Anyhow, I hope this review helped you decide whether or not to buy or try out this line. Um, it is a Japan brand, so you might be able to find it there for slightly cheaper than if you were to maybe buy it on, um, I guess, eBay or Yes Style or Sasa, I believe also carries this as well. Um, all of these colors, I believe, are still available. I did not purchase any of the limited edition ones because I was very worried that if I like it and I want to repurchase it, it'll be a little hard. Um, I don't know if any of these would be, you know, ones that I really would like to repurchase. I mean, aside from the lip product, I really like um, the colors, but, you know, I think the lip, lip blossom was actually $28, so... I mean, that's pretty average, I guess, when you compare it back to, like, you know, YSL or something like that. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I really like the products I got. I really love the payout. Just the price point's a little bit high for my liking. Um, and yeah, I hope this video helped you decide on whether to try it out or not. Um, and if it did, feel free to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.